2.50 in the afternoon on January 7th, Chief Safety Officer Kiriakos on watch saw a small sailboat which appeared to be in distress on our starboard side. Lookouts were posted to keep an eye on the boat while I turned the ship and made initial announcements advising our guests and crew that we were going back to investigate and aid as necessary. Staff captain notified the Coast Guard of the situation and we were given the go-ahead to bring the two women and two men on board. They had been at sea for 10 days, the last five days without food. A ladder was rigged out the shell door and a line was thrown to the boat to keep it alongside. Having performed a similar operation five days earlier, the crew was ready and standing by to provide whatever was needed. 34 minutes after the initial sailboat sighting, all persons were on board and we were underway, thanks to our beyond amazing crew. Safety of life at sea is a simple concept for seafarers. Those in need, we assist. Captain Kate McHugh, who's the head of the Celebrity Beyond cruise ship, pointed out and documented how her crew spotted and saved these four individuals that were floating out in the middle of the damn ocean. Which seems like a bit of a task considering the size of these cruise ships and the size of that little sailboat that was out there. It's an amazing story as she documented how they went through the process. The rope went out to hold them next to it. They extended the ladder down, pulled folks up, make sure they were fine and how long they were stranded out there, which was days. I think 10 or nine days to an extent and they hadn't eaten for the last four or five of them. So. By the way, that's amazing thing number one. Amazing thing number two is, is five days before that, they rescued 19 other folks. Same captain, I believe same ship, but let's watch this. Lots of folks being pulled out of the water recently, which we're gonna get into more. But you know, you guys noticed something else in there. It said five people. We're gonna get to that, but there's one more amazing part number three, just specifically from Captain Kate McHugh, McHugh's point of view. So far, we got 23 people that they've saved in about a week, five to six days. But there was one other connection because someone was looking for their family members and they were connected to the ship. Let's watch that, that's amazing. I have a pretty wild update on yesterday's rescue at sea with the sailboat that was in distress. I'm sitting at my office and I get a phone call from our crew admin manager, Dwight. And he says he was just down on the pier and he met a gentleman who said he's the brother of one of the people that we picked so up. So I jet to the bridge and I grab Kiriakos, who's the eagle eyes that saw the sailboat yesterday. And I tell him to call Dr. Kaylee, who happens to be his fiance and the doctor that treated the four individuals once we brought them on board the ship. But I don't tell them why. We head down to the gangway off the ship, out the terminal, and there's a gentleman standing there. And we introduce him to Kiriakos and Dr. Kaylee as the brother of one of the lives they saved yesterday. And here's the wild part. On that sailboat was this gentleman's brother, his sister-in-law, and two other family members. The brothers hadn't seen each other for 17 years, but when the sailboat didn't show up, he reported them as missing persons. He thought they were lost at sea until he saw the video on social media of the rescue and us bringing them on board Celebrity Beyond. Found his brother after she posted about that heroic rescue, which maybe could have seen as just her bragging about her crew and their amazingness. But it also reunited this family who had been looking for one more piece of you guys. I mentioned those five other folks. Yes, tons of people being pulled out of the water here um, might lead to thinking maybe uh, how things are going in the world. But one more piece here, you guys, because there was those five other people that were rescued by the Carnival Celebration ship. Uh, that cruise ship similarly rescued a boat of five migrants, 25 nautical miles northwest of Cuba. After rescuing the five people adrift at sea, the ship's crew coordinated with the United States Coast Guard officials and rendezvoused with them near Key West. That's what the Carnival sports person said. The ship resumed on its voyage with its scheduled itinerary unaffected and its carnival celebration returned to Miami on Tuesday after a week long Caribbean cruise. Everything went well, everyone was taken back. 
and over to the Coast Guard. And I think uh, then they were deported back to the same countries that they were trying to escape whatever horrors that were happening there. There's more though, but Jessica, I want your thoughts. This is craziness. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting pattern of behavior for this particular captain. How does she keep finding <laughs> these people? Is she like monitoring the Coast Guard radio and thinking like, mm, I'm gonna go get them? Because if I'm on a Carnival cruise ship, I'm not gonna know if we're going a little bit off the beaten path of where we're supposed to be going. I mean, maybe she wants to be a hero, which I think is fine. Because if the Coast Guard's not finding these people, let a let a Carnival cruise ship find them. Or a celebration. Carnival Cruise, all these confuse the hell out of me. There's, I'm sorry, there's Celebrity, celebrity Beyond, Carnival Cruise, Cruise Carnival, Celebrity Carnival. I don't know, they should have some different names for these. Call one of them like a Jaguar, I don't know, but I'm confused. Uh, but again, you pointed out how there's so many people that she's pulling out and rescuing from these rapid waters. There's a reason behind that, here's some details. There's an influx of migrants that are searching for refuge. In addition to this second rescue by Celebrity Beyond, the number of refugee encounters by other cruise ships has also risen sharply from the end of 2022 and into the very first days of this year. Here's a quick list. On December 30th, Carnival Sunrise rescued seven folks. Uh, the next day, New Year's Eve, Scarlet Lady rescued 18 refugees from a sinking boat. January 2nd, Carnival Celebration makes its first rescue of five refugees, which we mentioned. Then the next day, Rotterdam rescues two refugees. January 4th, Disney Dream rescues one man in the water. And then January 5th, Valiant Lady gave supplies to a small raft with refugees aboard. I think they decided to stick with what they had and took some supplies and continued on. Why is this happening? The incidents come as at least 500 migrants have arrived in small boats along the Florida Keys over the last several days in what the local sheriff's office described as on Monday as a crisis. Economic turmoil, food shortages, and soaring inflation in Cuba and other parts of the Caribbean is spurring the most recent wave of, these, uh, of this migration. Over the weekend, 300 migrants arrived at the sparsely populated Dry Tortugas National Park, which is about 70 miles west of Key West. And the park was closed so that law enforcement and medical personnel could evaluate this group before moving them to Key West is what the park then tweeted. Uh, many of these local authorities that are dealing with uh, the crisis and many people that are showing up, I'm sure many folks aren't making it as well considering how treacherous some of those waters are. They're very uh, upset about this and they want some changes happening. But we have to think about where those issues come from because we mentioned you know, the inflation, the issues within different countries. But we keep talking about it in America here like we're the only ones <laughs> or as if we're suffering to the degree that other folks are. Or that maybe some of our policies across the world and maybe the way the economic approach goes and maybe people emulating those things also affects these folks. Regular people then find themselves searching for some kind of refuge. But then we say, you dirty, ugly, disgusting human beings. It's almost like we don't think about this clearly. Your last thoughts, Jess, you got anything else? It's just interesting that there's a, a labor shortage in the cruise industry. And there have been canceled cruises because of crew shortages. They just didn't have enough people to man their ships. So I don't know, I think it's interesting that we're saying nobody can come to the United States because we don't have jobs for you, right? This is the conservative case for shutting down the borders, not letting migrants come through. But the cruise ships can just pick them up and give them a job. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> Some kind of work. I was stranded in multiple airports during the break and there's nobody was working there either. Just saying. <laughs> Maybe they're not paying.